It's my turn. Here is your host for my turn, Don Wildman. Recently, I ran across a story about a family that was eating dinner when the youngest member, a four-year-old, stood up in his chair and blurted out, "Pass the butter." Well, that mother decided that she would have none of that. She turned to the child, spoke sharply, "You cannot have any dinner." We don't act like that around this house. You will ask for the butter politely, or you will not have any butter at all. Anyone who acts like that doesn't deserve any dinner. Go to your room immediately. The little boy started to say something, but the mother broke in. No buts about it. Go to your room at once. Well, most of us would agree that the child needed some discipline. No child should be allowed to stand up at the dinner table and shout like that. Children must learn to ask politely and take their turns. After supper, the father gathered the family together and told them he had a surprise for them. I had the tape recorder on during the meal, he said, and I want to play it back and let's have some fun. Let's just hear what we sound like while we're eating. Well, the family all gathered around and listened to the recording. Supper began on a quiet note, but before long, the group had gotten rather noisy. There was a lot of talking, loud talking, and laughing. Then as the mother listened rather closely, she thought she heard something. Go back and play that part again, she told her husband. Well, he rewound the tape and played the part she wanted to hear again. And sure enough, it was there. A very soft little voice could barely be heard beneath the noise and laughter. It spoke. Would someone please pass the butter? The recorder continued on, and for a while, all anyone could hear was the noise and the laughter. Then, just a little louder than before, the voice came again. Would someone please pass the butter? But the noise and laughter continued. The little voice got no reply. Then it happened. The voice boomed out, Pass the butter! And then the voice telling him to go to his room without any supper. The mother sent for the little boy, apologized to him, and gave him his supper. I'm afraid there are several people like that today, people who have tried to be heard in a nice way, only to have doors closed in their faces and ears that would not hear. If we would have listened to the pleading of the black man years ago, perhaps our problems in race relations wouldn't be as great today. And if we had listened to the pleas of the common man, Perhaps the unions would be controlled by a different breed of people today. But we were too busy with our own chatter. One of the greatest traits one can learn is to listen. You see, when we listen, it shows that we care. And after all, that's what most people want. Someone to care. This has been My Turn with Don Wildman, a production of the American Family Association.